Detroit, September 25th, 2024, a day in the D. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the key events that took place in Detroit, Michigan on September the 25th, 2024. From the roar of the football pitch to the hushed whispers of courtrooms and the quiet heartbreak of personal loss, it was a day of highs and lows, triumph and setbacks. It's a microcosm, really, of life itself. So buckle up, because we're about to dissect this day with the precision of a brain surgeon operating on a nap. Let's get started. Manchester United, a name synonymous with footballing glory, locked horns with 20 in a Europa League clash that promised fireworks. The anticipation was palpable, with fans from both sides eagerly awaiting a thrilling encounter. The stage was set for a night of high drama and intense football, and for a while it delivered. The crowd was on the edge of their seats, every pass, every tackle, Every shot on goal met with roars of approval or gasps of dismay. It was football at its finest, a beautiful game that had everyone captivated. But then, Christian Eriksen, the Danish maestro, went from pulling the strings to, well, tripping over them. In a moment that seemed to defy logic, Eriksen, known for his precision and control, found himself tangled up and on the ground. It was a sight that left fans and commentators alike in stunned silence. It's a story as old as time, really. One minute you're a hero, the next you're the reason your fans are throwing their half-eaten meat pies at the television. The emotional roller coaster of football fandom is not for the faint-hearted. One mistake, one slip, and the adoration can turn to frustration in an instant. The details are still emerging, but let's just say it wasn't Ericsson's finest hour. The replays showed a series of unfortunate events that led to his mishap. And while it's easy to point fingers, the reality is that football is a game of fine margins. Even the best can falter. And for United fans, it was another frustrating chapter in what's been a, let's call it, transitional period. The team has been struggling to find its footing, and nights like these only add to the growing sense of unease among the supporters. They've seen their fair share of ups and downs, and this was another low point. Look, I'm not saying Ericsson single-handedly lost them the game, but I'm also not not saying it. Football is a team sport, and while individual errors can be costly, it's the collective performance that ultimately determines the outcome. Still, it's hard to ignore the impact of that one moment. The point is, football is a cruel mistress. One minute you're on top of the world, the next you're wondering why you ever decided to kick a ball professionally. The highs are exhilarating, but the lows can be devastating. It's a sport that demands resilience and a thick skin. It's a brutal sport, filled with heartbreak and despair, and occasionally a bit of joy. The moments of triumph are what keep players and fans coming back, but they are often few and far between. The agony of defeat is a constant companion, but mostly heartbreak and despair. The weight of expectations, the pressure to perform, and the ever-present possibility of failure make football a relentless and unforgiving arena. Ask any United fan. They'll tell you. They've been through it all. The glory days and the tough times. Their loyalty is unwavering, but their patience is often tested. They'll probably tell you at great length, actually. You might want to set aside a few hours. The stories of near misses, the what-ifs, and the moments of magic are all part of the rich tapestry of being a football fan. It's a passion that runs deep and the conversations are endless. 
Reality TV star Julie Chrisley's legal battles continue, with her seven-year prison sentence reinstated. This development has sent shockwaves through the reality TV community and beyond. Now, I'm not a legal expert, but seven years seems like a long time. It's almost a decade, a significant chunk of anyone's life. Especially for, well, whatever it is she's supposed to have done, the details of her case are complex and filled with legal jargon that can be hard to follow. I haven't been following it closely, to be honest. The intricacies of legal proceedings can be overwhelming and, let's face it, a bit dry for the average person. Reality TV isn't really my cup of tea. I prefer stories that are a bit more grounded in reality, ironically enough. But the point is, the legal system is a complex and often confusing beast. It's a labyrinth of rules, regulations and procedures that can be difficult to navigate. And sometimes it feels like it chews people up and spits them out without much rhyme or reason. The unpredictability of legal outcomes can be both fascinating and frightening. Is that what happened here? Did the system fail Julie Chrisley? Or is this a case of justice being served? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. It's hard to say without a deep dive into the specifics of her case. Look, I'm not here to judge. My role is to present the facts as they are, without bias or personal opinion. I'm just here to report the facts. And the facts are, Julie Chrisley is going to prison for a long time. And the facts are, Julie Crisley is going to prison for a long time. This is a significant event in her life and the lives of those around her, which is sad, I guess. It's always difficult to see someone's life take such a drastic turn. Again, I don't really know her, but still, it's hard not to feel some level of empathy for anyone facing such a harsh reality. But still, seven years. That's a long time to be away from your family, your friends, your... Whatever else it is, reality TV stars value. The impact on her personal relationships and daily life will be profound. Your... Whatever else it is, reality TV stars value. The glitz and glamour of the reality TV world seems so far removed from the stark reality of a prison cell. I'm sure there's a lesson to be learned here. Perhaps it's about the fleeting nature of fame and the importance of making wise choices. Something about the perils of fame, the constant scrutiny and the pressure to maintain a certain image. Or the importance of following the law. No matter who you are, the law applies to everyone equally. But honestly, I'm too tired to figure it out. The complexities of life and law can be exhausting to unravel. In the end, we can only hope that justice, in whatever form it takes, is truly served. And that those involved find some measure of peace and understanding in the midst of it all. Chapter 3. Barcelona vs Getafe. La Liga action heats up. The anticipation was palpable as fans from both sides filled the stadium, eager to witness a clash of titans. Barcelona and Getafe faced off in a La Liga match that, I'm assuming, was full of drama and excitement. The players gave it their all, showcasing their skills and determination on the field. I didn't actually watch it, but I'm sure it was a thrilling contest. Goals were scored, defences were tested, and the crowd was on the edge of their seats with every play. Because that's what La Liga is all about, right? The passion, the intensity, the sheer unpredictability of the game. Every match is a roller coaster of emotions. Thrills, spills, and the occasional questionable refereeing decision. These moments add to the drama and keep fans talking long after the final whistle. Look, I'm not a huge football fan. I can appreciate the skill and athleticism, but it's not my go-to sport. I prefer sports where the players wear more protective gear. Like, say, American football, 
or maybe even cricket. There's something about the strategy and the gear that appeals to me. Those guys are decked out in enough padding to survive a fall from a small airplane. But I digress. The point is, different sports have different appeals, and that's what makes them unique. The point is, Barcelona and Getafe played a game of football, and someone won, and someone lost. The scoreboard tells the story, but the real narrative is in the effort and spirit of the players. And that's... that's pretty much it. The players leave the field, the fans head home, and life goes on until the next match. Unless something truly extraordinary happened. A last-minute goal, a controversial call, or an unexpected twist that leaves everyone talking. Which, let's be honest, it probably didn't. Most matches follow a familiar pattern, with moments of brilliance interspersed with periods of routine play. Because at the end of the day, it's just a game. A game that brings people together, ignites passions and creates memories. A game with a lot of running and kicking and shouting. The communication on the field is as intense as the physical play. And sometimes, even a bit of diving. Players trying to gain an advantage, sometimes theatrically, which, let's be honest, is the most entertaining part. The drama, the reactions, the debates it sparks among fans. It's all part of the beautiful game. That's all for today's update on the key events in Detroit, MI for September 25th, 2024. We've covered everything from sporting triumphs and tragedies to legal dramas and the quiet passing of a dance icon. It's been a whirlwind, hasn't it? Kind of like life itself. One minute you're celebrating a goal, the next you're contemplating the meaning of existence. Hopefully we've managed to shed some light on the day's events, even if that light was filtered through the lens of my own particular brand of cynicism. Look. I'm not saying the world is a terrible place, but I'm also not saying it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. See you.